Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of Total Assimilation, the Borg Supremacy. Um, so, uh, last time uh, we did many things, including beginning to construct our um, research station, we uh, also um, began to explore our sector, we encountered the pirates, and we also had um, another leap leader popping up, even if I didn't want it, but uh, she's there. I, I think, I, yeah, I called the second matrix in the previous episode, but after I'm thinking like, <clears throat> there's only one, but it's the prime matrix. This is who we are playing. Um, now, <clears throat> what I was thinking, just like I explained previously, uh, that character would be um, like, the person officially controlling the Borgs, like the, the front character, a little bit like the Queen of the Borgs in, in, uh, in my interpretation of, uh, of Star Trek Voyager. But the real one that is gonna be uh, at the origin of everything and, and uh, managing the things in the dark and, uh, or in the background is gonna be the Prime Matrix. So I want to rename this quote unquote, um, you know, facade leader. Uh, second of five, uh, because uh, I love Battlestar Galactica and I love the, the idea of Cancel Five. The Prime Matrix will be um, it's the Prime Matrix, but it's also like the first of five, right? And she would be the second of five, like meaning the Cancel of Five, but it'll be like with the silent, right? Um, but I digress. This is a little bit like the um. Uh, the role play aspect of the game that we are playing, which I, I really love role playing. Um, now, uh, we also, okay, so we constructed a gas station. I don't know, we didn't construct it, it's in construction. So we are constructing um, a gas mining station on this planet, but it contains hydrogen and calcium, which is very important for us. Uh, we also explored the asteroid belt. We sent our uh, explorer in missions to explore that planet, that moon, and that planet, which is cool. And this explorer has one thing queued up. So I think he's supposed to explore this and maybe to explore that. Oh, yeah. And there is a... Whoa, what is that? Uh, this is a destroyer. It looks like a big ship. Wow, 237 fire destroyer. Firepower, that's pretty good guys, very very good. Okay, so we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, so how many constructors do we have? We only have one constructor. Okay, so I'm thinking of uh, doing another constructor. Just because I gotta need to construct different mining stations, here I gonna have to construct. Uh, I gonna need to repair some ships. I gonna need to construct a research station here, and maybe also some resource area for reprogramming drones or um, um, repurposing the mindset of the drones. And sending them in, a, you know, a brainwashing resource for increasing their efficiency towards the Unimatrix, obviously. Um, so there's many things for them to do, and I fear having just one construction ship is not enough. So, what I will do, <clears throat> I will go into the planet and double check what we have in construction. Okay, so we have nothing in construction. And here you go. That's very simple. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have another construction ship being constructed. Okay? The Grimmy Voyager. Okay, well. <coughs> so, yes, I still have a little bit of cost. I, I feel better now, but I may cough one or twice. So I'll try to keep it as low as possible. Um, okay, so this is for that. Now, let's have a look at what our characters are doing. So we have a, a 1 of 7, which is our scientist, which is uh, demoralizing, but is a very good researcher. 
and uh, at the moment he's deployed in Sika001, which is our prime um, research station. We have uh, one of 14, but he didn't prove himself yet, which is a troop uh, commander. We have our spy with an encounter intelligence, we have another one. So we have a one of 13, three of 13, and after there is the prime matrix and the second of five. Okay, pretty cool. All right, now, there is something that I was thinking for the development of the Borgs in general and to make sure that it's a little bit more um, aligned with the Borgs, right? Because what happened in the previous episode is like we had pirates coming towards us and they are um, uh, asking us to pay for our protection. Now, the Borgs can have a tendency, you know, to play a little bit subtle, especially if we are not in position of strength. So this is what I did in the previous episode, it's like, okay, we're not in measure to defend ourselves against those ships, so we're going to pay, but we want to quickly be in a position of strength to be able to defend ourselves against those invaders, and most importantly to uh, bring their distinction to our perfection, because we are supposed to assimilate every single living being in the universe. That's the purpose of the Prime Matrix. So, <clears throat> to do so, we're gonna begin to have some sort of defensive ships, okay? Now, if we go in the design section, um, and if I just want to see the uh, state ships, so we haven't we haven't made a, a defensive ship yet, okay? And I think we're gonna begin to do this. So we're gonna upgrade the design, and we're gonna create something a little bit um, uh, specific. Now, the purpose of the Borg, if we look at, um, at their fighting strategy most of the time, is to be able to snare or ensnare a ship um, with potentially a gravita gravitation beam to immobilize them and after sending drones in the ship to assimilate the crew and assimilate the ship okay that's when they when the board estimate that there are technologies uh, that are worth assimilating but if the bogs are being annoyed and uh, um, they don't value uh, necessarily any uh, technological advancement or anything that a race can bring, uh, the Borgs have no qualms uh, exterminating uh, uh, lesser living beings or exterminating potential threats, right? And uh, this is where we are coming to. So there is the assimilation path and there is the extermination path for the Borgs. Uh, we are going to the assimilation path, but there are some instances where we're going to need to defend ourselves even if we cannot assimilate. And why I'm saying this is because in our research, I think for us to be able to assimilate technologies, we need multiple things. We need the gravity... Um, um, what is this technology that allows uh, to attract track the beam? That's right. So we're going to need to have the track the beam, all right? First things first. So it's a gravity beam that pull the enemy ships towards you for capture or attack. Alternatively, it can also push strong attackers away from you, which is super cool, okay? And this is an essential part of the bulk fighting strategies, all right? Bulk only, bulk cutting beam. Being that damage the enemy ship with a blast of powerful energy wave, completely bypass both shield and armor, more effective on close, uh, uh, on closer and small targets. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we definitely want that. <coughs> but okay, so we want the truck to be to be researched. Now I put it the gravity gravity missile. So I think I'm gonna uh, cancel this because what I want, I want the gravitic weapon and the tractor beam to be researched very quickly. 
And what I also want, I want uh, the iron weapon. Why that? I want the iron weapons because I don't want necessarily to destroy the ships. I want to be able to drag them towards me and I want to disable their engines, disable their weapons so I can send drones. Okay, so that's the boarding part. Sending drones uh, on the ship to assimilate it, which makes complete sense uh, for the dwarves, okay? 50% missiles are 50% less effective against armor. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that's the technologies that I want to develop. Now, we we have an issue though. We have a we have an issue. Is like before we can reach the point where we can create a proper assimilation ship, it's gonna take a while. Okay. So what are we gonna do to defend ourselves in the meantime? Well, we're gonna have access to armor plating, which is pretty important, and we all already have access to projectile weapons and uh, missile weapons, okay? So, and beam weapons. So, we really want to have a technology develop as fast as possible. So, let, let me see. Can we develop even further? So, 180, 180, 100. So that's the total capacity. Okay, so here, here's the issue. <coughs> Our total research capacity at the moment is 180 per section. But at this stage of the game, the game only allow us uh, to have a total, total, that, a total empire research potential of 237k research. Now, if you take the sum of all this, 180, uh, 82 plus 82, that's 164, plus 80, um, 82, so that's 200, uh, 246k-ish. So, we are slightly exceeding this, um, yeah, it's right, right? Like 246, yeah. And I think it's because we have a bonus from being Borg of 4%, which allows us to exceed a little bit to 237. Alright. So we are already at the maximum of what we can research. Alright. And unfortunately. So, but as the game continues, we will be able to unlock. Like, uh, this is going to be unlocked, okay? <coughs> now, this is coming back to what can we do at this stage. Well, we cannot assimilate ships yet. But we can create maybe one or two ships to defend ourselves, okay? Now, what we need to also to be careful is we are in the red because of the pirates. But, let's have a look. Um, I think I had some, um, where are they? Uh, they're not there anymore. I had some parrots coming here, cleaning up the asteroid belts from the, um, from the slugs and after, I presume, I left. Um, yeah. So, I also want to have a look at the design of CK001. Yeah, so Seeker 001 has uh, very little firepower, right? Uh, very little firepower, no armor. So this is clearly a research station. It is not uh, something that's going to allow us to defend ourselves. Now let's look at the space port. Okay, so the spaceport have a little bit of weaponry, but doesn't have any armor, and we don't have any shields. So we are not necessarily in a situation where we can take a fight with the pirates at the moment, which is um, which is kind of problematic. I'm not gonna lie, but um, yeah. Okay, so we are on our way to research the shields. 
which is going to be major once we all have access to shields and the transport system. Okay. And the major. Okay. All right. So I think at the moment we're gonna have to um, we are, are we gonna have to endure the pirates. Um, what is the population growth at the moment on the planet? 15% which is not bad It's not bad So I wonder if I bring this at maybe 7% so That's gonna reduce our cash flow but We have a bonus income but it's pretty okay at the moment Yeah so you see, like, we went from man a minus 3800 to minus 5500, okay? But, what is the population growth now? It's 16%. It may grow a little bit higher, but we want this population to grow as fast as possible. So, uh, actually, if I had the possibility, I would put the taxes at 5% at or even at 0%. Okay, a new source of Nataran incense has been discovered on our colony on Unimetric 001. Uh, to view this new Nataran incense uh, will benefit our empire economy. Money station constructed. The construction of money set. Yeah, okay. So, alright, perfect. So that's the first thing. The, the um, gas station is constructed. But unfortunately, it doesn't have any shields, doesn't have any armor. So that's why we are very, very, very weak at this moment. We really do not want to have to fight or to deal with the pirates. Really, really not. Okay, so let's see a little bit what this um, thing is. So it's a beautiful and super perfume of Nutrient Planet. Nutrient is a small. It's very rare, it's a luxury resource. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I raised gold and medium. But, uh... Okay, so this is what we we have discovered. The price of it is 3.3. Uh, we have one source. We have 0 0.7 in our station. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see if this is gonna bring us some uh, some commercial power. Now we have uh, one construction ship that is being constructed; it's almost finished, and we have this one. So, uh, and it doesn't have any mission. So here we have iridium, steel, lead, and gold. It don't have a. It doesn't have a lot of gold though. This is fifteen percent. Okay, but there is a fair amount of iridium. So I think it's definitely worth uh, constructing a mining station there. So that's what he's gonna do. <coughs> okay. And, and this is pretty interesting. Okay, and this. Has been constructed, and now we have this. Um, we have this constructor. Okay, so we have done this. We have done that. Um, another thing that we can do. So there's multiple things. We could construct a research station there, but we already know that we are 
maxed a little bit in our research stations. Uh, but I'm very tempted to try to repair this. Right? Because that would be uh, a pretty good ship to have and we don't want the pirates to, to try to steal it from us. So I want definitively the, uh, this constructor to try to repair it. Awesome. So. Um, okay, so let's let's have a look at what kind of thing we discovered. So this planet has blood wine, interesting, silicon, and osalia. But blood wine is a a luxury resource. Oh, that and that's a king and love this. So, okay, so we have lead here, iridium, and steel. Which steel is very important because we construct almost all our ships with steel. Lead and gold, a little bit of gold, forty-one percent. And there is a um, a scenery bonus. Interesting. I may make a variation. Yeah, I may make a variation of a mining station, which is a scenery station. Um, I'm not sure if I can do that because. Okay. Trying to see there's mining stations. Hmm. Resource base. Yeah, so we need recreation center, commerce center, and storage passenger. Okay, so storage passenger I don't have yet, recreation center I don't have either. Um, commerce center I'm not even sure that I have access to that either. Um, Uh, yeah, space commerce. So yeah, I have access to commerce center. Life support. Yeah, but the re recreation center, I don't have access to it. You see, so Transport, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be prioritized. So I can have this. So I'm gonna have this, which is gonna give me the standard passenger compartment, which is essential for the resource, and also the entertainment system. Which is uh, uh, essential for recreation centers. Interesting. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Now let's have a look at our escort. Escort. Um, can we uh, improve that? So the price of this is fourteen hundred eighty nine, and the maintenance cost is almost four hundred. Hmm, the firepower is not great though.
Uh, I think we'll add this to increase a little bit the firepower. Um, Yeah, so all the weapon weaver that I have at this moment are weak against armor, unfortunately. So... I'm gonna save this for now. And I think I just want to have maybe two ships. Just two ships. No, 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 I don't want to construct it there. Just two ships to do escort missions to begin to prepare against um, against the pirates. Milita military ship constructed. We have constructed our first military ship. We are now able to defend ourselves. Okay. That, that that was fast. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look at the, our military ships. We're gonna put them in a new fleet. We're gonna need and uh, we're gonna uh, name the fleet the um, um, home defense. Or home, home guardians, home guardians. Okay, that's that's how I'm gonna be called. And what I want for this, for now, um, so we're gonna go in fleets. So the fleet has no mission. So we're gonna set to the system defensive. And the home base is gonna be the planet. We're gonna automate this, which means that if someone uh, or if the pirates are trying to come in our home base, they will defend. Okay. Now, the construction ship is trying to repair the destroyer. This one is trying to construct a mining station here, which is perfect. Our research is progressing. Okay, so <laughs> here's a situation though. Uh, the, if we look at the, the expense, the private sector is not buying any new ships and we are not receiving any income um, at this moment from um, yeah from trade for scenery or whatever which is kind of a problem so I'm gonna need to uh, increase the tax and you see like I, I put the tax at 7% instead of 10 I think it was and uh, uh, I went from uh, 15% to 19% growth. Okay. <coughs> but I think I'm gonna have to increase the taxes to 15% unfortunately. Until we can be in a situation um, Blood wine. There you go. So we have blood wine. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of um, 47%, 67%, so it looks like we have a lot of uh, uh, luxury resources on our planet at the moment. Okay. So, 
bioplast production begins. Production of bioplast has begun at our compound colony at Unimash 1. Uh, the bioplast is a special resource. Chunks is another resource uh, that is only manufactured at certain type of colonies uh, of sufficient size and development. This new supply of bioplast will benefit our economy. Okay. So I discovered three additional resources on, on, on my planet. So the bioplast is a thin material that can be used in form of sheets for insulating entire surface. The silicon and pressure management. Uh, the binars of planet binars so process an enormous quantity of the substance the trade as high price on the galactic market. Any colony supplied with bioplast first receive a 20% development bonus over and above any other bonus. Once discovered, every effort should be made to control the trade of this highly valuable resource. Okay. Wow. All right. So the current tax is too high, guys. It's okay for now. Resource shortage, yeah. Higher development, 20, plus 27. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Alright. So our leader, second of five located there, uh, has increased the population growth level, plus 30. Okay, wow. Alright, she's putting work. Okay, and you see, like, I'm at, we are positive now. So why are we positive? It's not because of the secondary sector, but it's because of the uh, revenue. Okay. So if I can get rid of the... <laughs> Pirate protection, I will be able to reduce the tax significantly. Uh, but I'm waiting for some research to come before doing that. We are not strong enough. But once we all have the shield and the armor, uh, we should be better. Okay, so shields. Okay, so after that, we're gonna research a better version of the shields. Energy collector, yeah, 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 okay, I see. I also want to, uh, to increase uh, the efficiency of our reactor. Basic space reactor. Efficient reactor. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm looking into that because we almost finished the yeah. Like, uh, I always want to have new research uh, going as soon as possible. So, storehouse uh, of ancient knowledge discovered. Uh, in the ruin of the citadel of Kirat, we have found a store of scientific knowledge from a vanished civilization. Through very difficult to decide, though very difficult to decipher the storage of knowledge, giving us an understanding of beginning to research the warfare precursor. Okay, the warfare precursor project, the promising of far, uh, faster than light uh, travel, opening the galaxy for exploration. Okay, I think that has been unlocked because I went to this planet. Holy crap, what is this? So there's Necro Stone, but it's not much, but it's 90%. Emerald Crystals, 23%. Iridium, 70%. 77. Uh, chromium at 20%. Carbon at 25%. And Polymer at 28%. Wow. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, so I went there exploring.
We have incurred a lone starship in our system, the Royal Partisan. It does not appear to be a lost apart, but rather an independent space trader. Uh, could there be other ships like this? Uh, yeah, sure. I think it jumped away already. Yeah. So, the shell is almost gonna be completed. Perfect. Alright. Uh, also, before improving my ships, that, so the shield is very important. It's a very important research in the game because once you begin to have shields, um, Uh, it's a, it's a very uh, important because when you begin to ins to have access to shields, you can put shields on your space station, on your mining stations, on your ships. So it's a very major thing to do. But I also want to work on the armor plating before uh, modifying my designs, and it's almost complete. <coughs> also, where is the the warp technology, precursor technology. Okay, so we need to research that before researching this, obviously. Okay. So this is pretty long to do, uh, but it needs to be done as soon as possible. How much do you need to crush this one? 120,000 credits. Yeah. Alright, right, so, and you see, like, we begin to have access to cash flow. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reduce the taxes quite significantly, maybe to 10%. Okay, so apparently, the. Yeah, the construction ship has finished its mission on this moon, and which is very good for us because um, it, uh, it enables trade, okay? And that's very, very critical because when you begin to have access to uh, gas mining stations uh, and of a gas station, mining, mining stations, and things like that, then the uh, state... Uh, not the state, the private sector can begin to request new ships to be constructed and uh, uh, whenever they have to pay those ships, they pay it to you, so you earn money, right? And uh, if there are trades and there is uh, trade centers if in place, then you can have a little uh, commission on those trades and you can earn money there as well. So it's very important for the economy, you see, that's why we have a boost. But uh, as we normally do in this series, uh, we play until the next save, and the game just saved. So what we have done in uh, this game is pretty cool. Like we uh, developed the research of the shields. We almost finish the research of the armor plating. So once the armor plating and the shields would be available, um, so we have the shields but not the armor plating. Then uh, we're going to retrofit, we're going to change the design of our ship and we're also going to include some shieldings, not, not much but a little bit in the, uh, the, the private sector ships so they, uh, they are not so easily blown away. And we're going to also uh, put the shields and the armor in our base research station and also in our mining stations and that's going to give us some income. Okay. And that's what we're going to do next week. So thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, uh, episode. If you have some good names for space stations, for characters, put them in the comment or send me a message. <coughs> um, the best name, I will take them uh, into consideration and I will put them in the game. Uh, if you have some good ideas, please let me know. I always uh, love to have some constructive feedback. And if you want to see more of this, Please leave a like and a subscribe and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you guys.